Look what we've got. Your plans. Oh, I'm so excited. The big location of the movie, obviously, is Jane's house. And we found this beautiful house that we love, and that's the outside of Jane's house. And then that architecture and, and setting helps us define what the inside is like, where half of the movie takes place. We shot our exteriors of California in California, and then we shot our interiors of California in good old New York. And it's been pretty wild. I, I don't know that I've been on a set like this where you walk in and it feels like Santa Barbara at night and you're in the middle of Brooklyn uh, shooting in some stage with uh, a whole lot of people around, and yet there's this house on stage that looks amazing. This is heaven. It is absolute movie magic. And the first, the first day I walked onto the set in uh, Brooklyn, it was like Disneyland. I mean, it was so extraordinary to see what they created. Right now, we're at either end of the table. Oh, well, it feels perfect. I thought so, too. And getting to shoot in California and be in that gorgeous landscape it told me a lot about who these people were and the kind of lives they led. The movie takes place in Santa Barbara, and it's a very beautiful place. It's very kind of quintessentially California, and knowing what it feels like to be in Santa Barbara, I think helps you identify with the characters, and it helps tell the story, and that's ultimately what we're all here to do. In Santa Barbara, when you're there, the sense of orange, those tile roofs on, on all the buildings, all the houses, so dominant, you always feel it. So, if you were lying in bed, this would be your view. There's a lot of orange in the movie. I've noticed whenever I see a movie and there's orange in the movie, I'm drawn into it. So I wanted to try that. Nancy will say to me again and again and again, these sets are characters in my movie. Nancy is an absolute magician at creating worlds that you want to live in. And her vision is so specific and detailed. And as an actor, getting to, to live in a world where every detail's been accounted for and everything is so splendid feeds you so much it's such a pleasure to be in that world okay who's hungry who wants what well i go to a lot of movies and i went to see vicky christina barcelona the woody allen movie and i thought wow these people look real there were actually wrinkles in their clothes when they stood up and there was just an honesty to the way they looked that i i love so i found sonia she was in madrid and I said, would you want to come and make a movie with me? She actually moved here and did my movie, and I was thrilled. She was a real asset to this movie, I think. All the housewares and everything in the frame that even is on the corner of the frame, everything that people put their hands on is of a quality that is undeniable. Mommy is the best cook in the world. In all of Nancy's movies, the homes are beautiful and the lighting is beautiful and the sets are beautiful. I mean, it's prettier than reality. So that's where I feel like it's like movie magic, where you get this very real story with real people, and except it looks really nice. John Toll's work, who is our cinematographer, was absolutely beautiful. And I'm so grateful to him for not only making the frame lovely, but uh, making the people just glow with warmth and to capture a home because that's the center of the film. You know, I think Nancy's movies come out of the tradition of screwball comedies and Spencer Tracy and Catherine Hepburn and those people live in a slightly great world. And there is a kind of sophisticated, casual elegance. Can I take a look? Do you mind? Well, of course. Well, everything's not 100% worked out yet. Wow, you're finally getting that kitchen you always wanted. Yeah. When you see a movie that's directed by Nancy, it just pops. It just, there's just nothing like it. Oh, officially now, the best date of my life, pre or post divorce. It just allows you to release yourself into um, this world that is very truthful and relatable. So basically, I can make you anything on the menu. No. Or even not on the menu. Really? Mm -hmm. Just name it. What about a warm chocolate croissant? Oh, it's my specialty. <laughs>